Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about formatting input and output functions. So last class, we learn about so F open function and F close function. So F open function is used to so open a file. So F close function is used to close a file. Now in this class, we are going to learn another two functions that is f scanf and f printf functions the c library have two general functions f scanf and f printf that can be used with any text string in our previous classes we learn about two functions one is scanf in earlier classes we learn about scanf and printf so these two functions we are using in many programs so what is the purpose of the scanf scanf is a input function so scanf is a input function so printf is a output function so printf is a output function what is the purpose of the scanf so scanf is used to read the value from the terminal that is keyboard similarly so printf function is used to send the output on to terminal that is monitor okay it, by using these two functions, you are going to read or send the data to terminals. Similarly, fscanf and fprintf, these two functions also use it to read and send the data to files, not to terminals. So these two functions, we are going to use with the help of terminals. You read the data from the keyboard or you send the data onto monitor. Similarly, fscanf and fprintf these two functions we are going to use to read the data from file to print the data onto the file okay now we discuss the definitions fscanf read text data and convert the data to the types specified by a formatted string so that means the scanf function is used to read the data from file and it convert the data into some specific format string and it returns eof what is a eof eof is a constant so eof at end of file so what it means for example there is a file stu.txt stu.txt in this file there is some contents for example hello hello is the data now whenever you open this stu.txt file it is opened in the buffer so for example this content is stored like this hello and the starting address is stored in some file pointer so for example the starting address is 1001 so this address is stored in 1001 now so this is the data stored in the file now how i can read the data from the file means by using f scanf so now so this hello is a text data and I want to convert this data as a string. So I am going to use the con control string percentages. After that, when I reach the end of the file, end of the file, it returns a constant. Now what is the purpose of fscanf? fscanf read the data from the file. When it reaches eof, it returns the end of the file. It returns a eof constant. For many operating systems, it is minus one. Minus one. That means when you read the data, if the constant variable is minus 1, then we assume that we reach the end of the file. Okay, so the syntax, how we can read the so data? So for example, I want to read the data by using the scanf. How I can read? Control string, that means a percentage, yes. And you can specify variable name, variable name for scanf. Okay, for fscanf also, it is similar. You write the fscanf, so after that, write file pointer here file pointer for every file program you are going to create one file pointer already we discussed in our previous video now that file pointer you specify here after that you give format list here now i read the data here hello now hello i want to convert into string so i use so percentage yes so this is the format list so control string so next address list you are going to give the variable list here example fscanf fp fp is a file pointer variable percentage yes now here i am reading i try to read the data that is hello this is the text 
Now I convert this text into string. So I use percentage. Yes. Now this hello is stored in a variable. The variable name is buffer. B U F F. Okay. So that is the purpose of F scanf. F scanf function is used to read the data from file. Similarly, F printf. F printf is used to write set of characters into file. So that means F printf. So what is the purpose of the printf? Printf send the data onto monitor. F printf send the data onto file. It sends formatted output to a string. What is the data you are going to send to the file? That will be formatted output. So this formatted output will be sent to file. That means this format output is displayed on file. Okay. So syntax. F printf you specify the file pointer. So after that format list. That means the control strings. Then you specify the variable list. So example. F printf fp file pointer variable, comma number equals to percentage d. For example, the roll number is triple one. Now the number equals to triple one. Send to the file and a number equals to triple one. So this data is stored on file. Okay. So now we are going to discuss these two functions with the help of example. In this program, we are going to read three data values. So one is for student number. For that, we are using roll number, student name, and student marks. Student marks. Okay. The purpose of the program is you are going to read these three data values from the keyboard and store these data values in a file stu dot txt and after that again you open this stu dot txt and read the data from the file and display on monitor. Okay. So now, so for that, so you are going to take one. File pointer. So this is the file pointer. So FP. So this is the FP file pointer. Okay. And so these are the three variables. So defined in primary memory. So these are the temporary variables. One is so roll number. Another one is yes name. Another one is marks. Marks. Now, so these variables are stored in primary memory. So, I want to store these data values permanently. So, here I want to use the file concept. For that, fp equals to f open stu.txt w. So, what it means? I want to open a file stu.txt in writing mode. That means I want to write the data under the file stu.txt. So, the file is opened in buffer. So let us assume. So this is the file. So this is the file. What is the file name here? So this is the stu dot txt. For example, the starting address is one zero zero one. That is assigned to fp. That is assigned to fp. So what is the next one? So printf enter student number. So this is the data displayed on monitor. So why? Because here I am using printf. Printf enter student number. After that, I read the data from the keyboard. For example, I enter 111. Now, the data is stored in roll number, triple one. So, similarly, printf, enter student name. For example, I enter Ravi. So, Ravi is stored in yes name. So, enter, enter student marks. For example, I enter 45.6. So, that is stored in marks. I hope up to now, you all are known. Okay. So next, I want to store these data values on this file. Okay, so, so which function we are going to use to write the data on the file? For that purpose, you are going to use fprintf. fprintf fp number equals to percentage d roll number. So that means the entire message number equals to what is the roll number? Triple one. Triple one. Now, so this is this formatted string stored on File. So printf fp. What is the fp? 1001. So in this place 1001, we store number number equals to triple one slash n. 
that means the cursor goes to here that means the fp value change for example the location letters is you 1010 here so it is changed as 1010 so next f print f fp name equals to so name equals to what is the name here ravi so this formatted string stored in fp what is the fp here 1010 so here name equals to ravi and fp value is updated let us assume 1020 1020 so what is the next instruction fp marks equals to percentage f what is the marks here 45.6 that means marks equals to 45.6 so this string is stored in fp so marks marks equals to 45.6 so this is the data stored in the file std.txt but it is in the primary memory so when it stores on the secondary memory when i am writing f close f close now so this data the data available here so stored in hard disk so this is the hard disk let us assume the copy so number equals to triple one name equals to ravi marks equals to 45.6 stored in a file and the file name is stu.txt okay so this is on the hard disk i hope you all are understand how to read the values from the keyboard and store in store as a file okay so next step i want to read the data from this file i want to read the data from this file so again i want to open a file if you observe that here fp equals to f open st.txt and the mode is r so r means i want to read the data from the file so i specify the mode as a r now what happened let us assume so this is the memory when i f open the file on this hard disk are stored in this memory so that is primary memory so now say number equals to triple one name equals to ravi and marks equals to 45.6 and the file pointer at starting location for example the starting location is 1001 so this is the fp so this is 1001 now i write i take one variable buffer so this is the buffer let us assume let us assume so this is the buffer okay now so by using this f scanf what is the purpose of the f scanf f scanf function you are going to use to read the value from the file so this is the file stu.txt so this is the file pointer now i want to read the data from this fp so f scanf fp percentages so percentages means i format this text as a string so number equals to triple one stored in buffer so number equals to triple one so this is the data stored in buffer and it is not eof when i reach the end of the file then this will be true now it is not equals to eof so so printf percentage s buffer what is in buffer number equals to triple one so this will display on monitor so number equals to triple one is displayed on monitor so next fp now fp place change from 1001 to so this location now again so name equals to ravi is stored in buffer now name equals to ravi is stored in buffer again it is not equals to eof so we print name equals to ravi on monitor in next the fp change it to this place so marks equals to 456 stored in buffer marks equals to 456 and so by using this printf function i print this message on monitor so it prints marks equals to 456 in next iteration the fp becomes eof we reach the end of the file so this loop will be terminated that's it next f close fp so fp is close here i hope you all are understand the program 
and how to read the data from the keyboard and how to read the data from the file, how to print data onto the monitor and how to print the data onto file. So how to read the data from the file by using fscanner function, how to write data onto file by using fprintf function and we see the exact output for this program when we execute this program. So now we are going to see functions fprintf and fscanf. Okay, we execute this program. So after execution of this program, a file is created stu.txt automatically in current working directory. If you observe that, now there is no file stu.txt. Now we execute this program. GCC program 75.c that is warning no problem dot slash a dot out observe that the file is created here stu.txt it is empty file now we are going to give the data so enter student number for example I enter 111 student name Ravi student marks 45.67 if I press enter then these data values so 111 Ravi 45.67 is stored in the file let us check that so this is the file st.txt if I open you see so these are the data elements stored in file st.txt and we get the data from this file so number equals to triple one name equals to Ravi marks equals to 45.66 okay 